Hi, hi, everypony. We got a new MasterChef event on our hands. This time around, we're working with bell peppers, which, fun fact, you know the stereotypical kids hate this food in the U.S. is broccoli. In Japan, it's bell peppers, which, if they're green, correct. I like red, orange, and yellow bell peppers, but I'm not a fan of the green. It just, it doesn't taste right. It just doesn't taste right. So if you've played a Culinary Crucible event before, you know what's up. If you want to skip to the recipes, timestamps are in the description. But if this is your first time playing this event, I'm going to go over how this works. To summarize it shortly, you'll send a group of students to some location on campus and they'll gather ingredients there. These excursions can last 20, 60, 150, and 365 minutes. What characters bring back is randomized, but hopefully you'll get what you need. You'll make dishes with these ingredients and those dishes will be judged by a panel of three characters. However many points they give you is how many tokens you get. Tokens can be spent in the event shop, where you can buy a special magical key that can be exchanged for one of the two event SRs for this event specifically. Each ingredient and dish can be low, medium, or high quality. The higher the dish quality, the better the score. However, you also have to take skill level into consideration. Every time you make a dish, your skill level will go up by a certain percentage. I'm going to say it now, you can't speed through this event. You just have to be patient with building skill level. If anything, the skill level is actually the more important part of scoring than the dish quality. You may be able to use all high-quality ingredients, but if your skill level is 18%, you aren't getting a perfect 30 score in a high-quality or 3-star dish. The only way to get 3-star dishes is to slowly increase your skill level. I have a whole video talking about and experimenting on when it's good to switch to what quality ingredients you're using, but generally, like, if you want to play it safe, low until 60%, medium until 80 and high from then on. If you don't mind gambling a bit and you want to go fast, low until 30, medium to 50, and then high from then on. Each dish rarity increases skill at a different rate. One star is 4%, medium is 8, and high is 12. The 60-80 method more or less means you won't waste ingredients. So when you use all medium ingredients, you're very likely to get a two-star dish. The 30-50 method is a bit more of a gamble. When I did my experiments, I did have some dishes where I used all medium ingredients, but I only got a one-star dish. However, generally speaking, you do level up faster that way, so choose whichever playstyle is best for you, or ignore it. I mean, I, uh, I do that a lot, to be honest. So like I said, ingredient drops are randomized, unfortunately. Be prepared for excursions where you don't get what you need, because it's not a matter of if it happens, it's a matter of when. At least if you use Apprentice Chef Ace or Apprentice Chef Idia, they'll give you extra ingredients, so that's nice. If you want excursions to end faster, there's Time Winder items, which will speed things up in 10-minute increments. This event gives you a few for free. Some can be earned from completing missions, and you can also purchase them in the event shop. I'm pretty sure it's the... Yeah, it's the event shop. It's the event shop. I personally wouldn't purchase them, but that's just me. Now, there are a total of nine recipes to make. If you want to go in blind, that's fine, but just remember if you get a recipe wrong, you not only waste ingredients, but you only get three tokens. I really don't recommend going in not knowing the recipes, but again, that's just me. If you want to skip over this, timestamps are in the description, like I mentioned earlier, but if you want to hear the recipes, here's what we have. Chicken and bell peppers. Pepper, meat, spices. Bell pepper marinade. Pepper, onion, shrimp. Bell pepper minestrone soup. Pepper, onion, tomato, bacon, beans. Bell pepper spring roll. Pepper, lettuce, cucumber, rice, shrimp. Bell pepper terrine, or taran. Yeah, I think it's taran, that's a French word. Pepper, lettuce, gelatin. Salad pizza. Pepper, tomato, cheese, flour. Stuffed bell peppers. Pepper, meat. It would be better if it had cheese, but like, whatever. Vegetable mousse cake. Pepper, milk, gelatin. Vegetable burger, pepper, tomato, lettuce, bread, beans. Also, maybe this is a really mean thing to say, but not gonna lie, some of this food looks and sounds disgusting. I don't know if that was on purpose because people don't like bell peppers, but um, I think the vegetable mousse cake is like on par with a felony. Truly, I believe that. We have two new cards, Apprentice Chef Ace and Apprentice Chef Idia. I have a whole video doing a very in-depth analysis of them. Link in the iCard and in the description. But for a short summary, SR Ace is a Fire Flora card with HP Restoration and Power Drain. SR Idia is a Water Flora card with Power Boost. They're both available in the Gotcha, but you can also get one of them in the Special Exchange Shop. In the event, like I've mentioned, you can earn a special magical key that will let you get one of the two cards. If you want both, I would recommend playing the Gotcha first, see which one you get, and then play the event to get the other one. 
You don't want to get the key, choose an SR, and then play the gacha and potentially get another copy of the SR you just got. If you only want one card, though, you're fine skipping the gacha. Like, you don't even need to worry about it unless you want that, like, ingredient, like, boost. But honestly, like, I think you're fine skipping it. I think it's fine. And that's pretty much it. It feels like we just got this event in JP, so it feels weird that we're getting it in EN, like, tomorrow. But I guess that's just how it is at this stage of the game. We are getting closer to being on the same-ish schedule, so... I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I really don't know how to feel about that. But anyways, good luck on this event, guys. Thank you everyone for watching, and a very special thank you to my channel members and Twitch subs. Your support helps me to continue to make these videos. If you'd like early access to my videos, consider becoming a channel member. Patrons and Kofi members can get my scripts early before I record them. I livestream over on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see y'all later.